me. Oh boy. Looks like Luigi's YouTube account just got hacked. Man, he's been on the platform since 2013. Now he's gotta deal with YouTube support, make sure none of his videos got deleted, change passwords, possibly even emails. This could have all been avoided if Luigi had just been using Surfshark. Shame on you, Luigi. <laughs> oh, I can never stay mad at you, you adorable green man. <laughs> Surfshark is more than just a VPN. With its alert feature, Luigi could have known that his information had been part of a data leak and changed his login credentials before, say, the hackers had gone into his account to post a livestream about cryptocurrency, making all of his videos private, effectively costing not only hours worth of work, but if revenue is now private videos could have made, effectively impacting his standing on the platform's recommendation algorithm negatively causing literally hundreds of people to unsubscribe from him. You know, as an example. Luigi could also hide from Daddy Google by using Surfshark's own search engine. That way, he won't get targeted ads and search in complete privacy. And the best part is that he doesn't have to worry about Surfshark storing his data because the British Virgin Islands allow them to have a no logging policy. So if the police show up and are like, Hey, we need Luigi's search history, Surfshark can legally be like, no. And if there's a show you used to watch as a baby, but you can't find it on your favorite streaming service in your country, Surfshark's got you covered with over 3,200 servers in 65 countries you can connect to, like Italy, or France, or... Kiribati, I don't know. Surfshark is offering you guys an 83% discount plus three extra months for free if you go to surfshark.deal slash chari via the link in the description and use code chari. Why 83%? I don't know, it's a nice round number, almost looks like an eight and half an eight. Whoa, boy, 221 a month for two years? That's less than I spend on- Insert unhealthy monthly expenditure, which you should really quit, here. Plus you have a 30 day money back guarantee? I mean, hey, after almost losing your entire livelihood, what else do you have to lose, right, Luigi? Oh, yeah. Again, visit surfshark.deal slash chari and use promo code chari at checkout. It's spelled like chair, but wrong. Thank you again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Stay safe out there, everybody. Yes, indeed, the princess craves playmates, I'm afraid. She's rather... tantrumy. Press up on the D-pad to walk to the room where she awaits. Please go to her at once. Toadsworth, they're literal toddlers. How do they even get to Peach's castle on their own? No sign of the princess! No! No! That awful monster! Just take her easy now. She wasn't this fella's breakfast. My DS Time Radar puts Peach somewhere in the Mushroom Kingdom of yesteryear. Time Radar? So, you didn't just figure out time travel, but you also developed a way to detect someone's location in the past? Hmm. Careful there, young fella! If I'm right, that time hole leads back in time! Yup, a younger Mushroom Kingdom. Question is, to where in the Mushroom Kingdom? Wait, how is that the question? If the time hole is here, it would stand to reason that no matter when we end up, we would still be in Peach's castle, right? Or does time travel here follow more realistic rules, where we can only time travel in year-long increments, otherwise the planet's revolution would just be at another point around the sun and we would just be stuck in space? Yeah. Hmm? Use this time hole to rescue the princess? Oh yeah. Hmm. Now there's an idea. I bet dollars to donuts that's our best chance of saving her! Or, and hear me out, fix the f***ing time machine, my guy! I know you can't fully do it because the Cobalt Star's not there, but you don't know that! You didn't even try! My ears! She'll ruin us all! Fine! I'll help them if it'll just shut her up! Koopa Cannon, fire! Now that I think about it, what the hell is the point of Baby Bowser kidnapping Baby Peach? As adults, I get it. He not only wants to take over the kingdom, but also maybe force her into marriage. But as babies, I don't think Peach really rules over anything yet. And I don't think Bowser knows anything about Peach to want to marry her at this point. Eh? What's that you say? Princess Peach is being held prisoner in the castle? Oh, surely you jest. The princess is quite safe and sound right here with me. Hmm? I beg your pardon? The future Princess Peach? The future Masters Mario and Luigi? <laughs> <laughs> you poor fellows! You've got a bit daffy, eh? Your noggins must have gotten bonked! Perhaps a nap? I can understand why Toadsworth wouldn't believe them right away, it is a pretty far-fetched story, but think about it, why would these two grown men dressed exactly like Mario and Luigi know anything about two babies named Mario and Luigi who haven't really accomplished anything in their lives yet? So, how does the time travel thing work? Why is it a round trip to the baby's time and back to the present day? 
Do we get to choose when we end up? Clearly not if adult Mario and Luigi didn't know when Peach was going. What are the rules, damn it? And why are all the time holes in the present in Peach's castle? The time holes in the past are all around the Mushroom Kingdom, so it's a huge coincidence that in the present, they're all neatly concentrated here. Professor, I must inform you the Mushroom Kingdom of the past is in gargantuan trouble. <sighs> so it's true. These shroom creatures have made off with the princess, eh? Wait, how did you know about the shroom's name? I'm guessing Stuffwell told you, but now that I think about it, who came up with the name in the first place? Because the shrooms don't speak the same language as the people around here, so it's not like they could introduce themselves. You can see that mark over to the left of the badge name, can't you? The capital E is for adults, and the lowercase e is used for the young juveniles. Capital? With an O? Like, a building? I think you mean capital, with an A, meaning uppercase. Also, what do you mean, young juveniles? Juvenile means young. Area restricted. All noob intruders to be hacksawed by us lead hammer bros. Oh my god, I thought this era of the internet was behind us. Oh yeah. Oh no. Baby Mario? What the f***? Don't worth the younger. The princess. She won't... She won't stop crying! Tut tut, worry not, Aldemy! We've not yet begun to amuse! Arms out now! Three, two, one! Toads with twist! Dolly good, Aldemy! Our charge is giggling! What's that you say, old bean? You wish to learn our move? Uh, why don't Mario and Luigi remember how to do this from the last game? Okay, realistically, what's stopping Mario and Luigi from helping this Yoshi? They're pretty strong, plus the babies have hammers. Why do we have to find the other Yoshis? You know, looking back, Bowser's gonna say story almost makes too much sense. Alpha Dream really liked putting Mario and Luigi inside of monsters' bodies. It was only a matter of time before they made a whole game surrounded by the concept. Well, I am stupid mortified. There's an egg factory in this beast's torso cavity. This is vile shrewd work. Is it? Because I'm pretty sure Yoshis have the same mechanism in their bodies too. Otherwise, how do they turn gulped enemies into eggs? Okay, I was going to hold off on this, but this is ridiculous. I've said it for like the past, I don't know, three Mario games that I don't really talk about gameplay in these videos, but the fights and partners in time are brutal, especially the boss fights. I feel like I take way too much damage from one attack and don't get enough experience from enemies, even though up to this point anyway, I've been fighting every single one I come across. For a game that makes me experiment through trial and error to learn enemies' attack patterns, it really feels like there's very little room for error. And that's just half of it. The other half are the bosses which take forever to beat. Not even because they're hard necessarily, but because they have so much damn health. Either that or my damage output just isn't high enough. And I can't even tell you how frustrating it is to be dodging every single one of your enemy's attacks, only to still be fighting them minutes later and then get hit because you mistimed an input. I've been fighting Sunnyside for 15 minutes and all it is is release Yoshi, dodge attacks five times and get Sunnyside on his back, do as much damage as you can, and then repeat all that like 20 times. And eventually you're gonna mess up, meaning that you either have to waste a turn healing or just lose a bro altogether, making the fight long longer because the babies don't hit as hard as the adults do. And this one is completely on me, but did anyone else find it tricky coordinating all four characters during the battles? Because I swear, during the puzzles, they're fun to control, but using all the face buttons during combat never felt intuitive to me, especially when one of the adults fell, and I had to alternate between buttons I wasn't used to. I have a little fury even with my remembering. Red and green! A pair of jumping hammers in red and green who are looking like you! I have fury! Those brothers of badness! My brain aches at their overalls! I have fury and headache now! Awful would be here, reigning overall and laughing at you! But no. So much fury! Stupid mustaches! Hairs like the dirty tail of a horse in a barn built by a farmer who is crazy! I have caught! 
Um, how did Fawful even get underneath Peach's castle to open up his bean shop? You have to learn a new ability to take a pipe that requires four people to even come down here. Gee whiz, you boys found the secret entrance after all. Color me bamboozled. Yeah, how did you get here? You were the one who told us that we couldn't just use the front door and there's no way you could have found the secret entrance. Well, damn, Mario. What exactly do you think Luigi did to the babies? It's not like Luigi is known to get particularly mad for no reason. Maybe he just got whacked in the head by his own brother with a hammer! could have escaped! Why on earth did baby Luigi go down instead of up? And why didn't the Marios open up the pathway? You're quite the motley crew, but you make for gold copy, no doubt about that. Good as you boys are though, this dame's got a lead that'll top anything you've ever done. That is an incredibly large key, where were you keeping it? The miraculous powers of the bros ball will flatten the tykes out like hotcakes. This will allow them to fit in tight spaces previously unreachable to you. That fret, however, will pop right back up in no time. Ah, the flexibility of childhood. Okay, I know that in this world some crazy shit happens, but how exactly are we able to flatten people without hurting them? Same with the mini Mario ability in the rest of the series. Are our skeletons malleable? We know we have skeletons. Why does this not hurt us, but getting crushed by a thwomp does? But the princess! Steady, old bean. Master Mario and the others will undoubtedly save the princess as always. You will save her, won't you? I assure you she's not in another castle or anything. Hmm. Wow, even Mario and Luigi couldn't handle how lame that joke was. Okay, don't quote me on this, but I'm almost 100% certain that this is the only HP block in the entire game, and I don't really get why it's there, considering there's rarely a reason I should be losing health in Peach's castle anyway, and my health replenishes every time I beat a boss, so I think I might have just found the single most useless block in all of Mario. Wait, what? How did an adult Mario and Luigi make it through the time hole? There was no way for them to cross the gap that led here. Travesty! If Princess Peach's tiara is here, could it be that she and Bowser tumbled into the volcano? Hmm. I cannot compute our ill luck! Our timing is beyond horrible! If we don't put a stop to that eruption icing, we're doomed! Yeah? And how exactly are you going to stop an erupting volcano stuff, well? If Peach and Bowser fell in there, they're ash, dead, we're done! Erupted? Did you say erupted? What? It just blew its top a few moments ago! Why didn't you say so? What were we waiting for? Whatever opening those fiery thwomps just came in through must have been huge for them to land in those spots at those exact angles. Did you hear me, fellas? I've just completed the most marvelous invention! Yes, this incredible machine will put a stop to any volcanic eruption no matter how great! <laughs> the inspiration just came out of nowhere, just as all great ones do! I call it the Hydro Gush 4000! Okay, so that means that you came up with it but didn't know that we needed it meaning that Stuffwell didn't tell you, meaning that there was no reason for you to have built it. Why'd you build it? Well, luckily the Hydro Gush came out of the time hole at exactly the right pressure and angle to hit the lava. You... too heavy. 
Excuse me? How dare you? Jerk! Oof! She's scary. I pay for that. Now you know why you treat ladies nice. I feel like the takeaway should be treat ladies nice because it's the right thing to do, not treat ladies nice otherwise I'll toss you into a volcano. Watch it! What you doing jumping on head? I'm Thwomp! I crush you! You try to hit block up there, you dumb! <laughs> Fine, hit it! Or not! You think I'm in Volcano with time on hands? You see hands? No! I bored. We play game! Wait a second, you just implied that you had no time for stuff, and now you want me to play your stupid little game? Which is it, Thwomp? Oh my god, I'm still fighting Bowser? It's been 16 minutes! And I still have 5 minutes of this fight to go! This is one of two times in the game, outside of the signs you can read, that the Shroop speech is translated, and both times it doesn't really add much. I think it's understood that the people of Mario & Luigi's world can't understand them anyway, and it's not like we learn much about the Shroops through their dialogue, why bother translating? Uh, what? How'd you do that? Those Shroom hooligans tore our poor village to pieces. I do believe we old biddies are the only two souls left! I'm sorry, you old what? I do believe we old biddies are the only two souls left. Biddies. Not tiggle, just plain old. Such sadness and such loneliness for us old birds. Oh, terrible loneliness. When you're as old as we are, loneliness is all you can count on. You look like fine young men. Would you shop here every day and make us old hens happy? Oh, no you don't. I've seen this one before. Next thing you know, I'm stuck in a loveless relationship and have to be a stepfather to people older than me! What the hell are you talking about? Hmm... Why have I seen that before? Ah! F*** this fight, man! It's just make the bomb roll, dodge attacks, make the bomb roll, dodge attacks, and repeat that for, and I cannot stress this enough, 23 minutes! And I died to this thing a few times, so I was ready to lose my damn mind by the time I beat him! I do recommend you watch your diet, however, for it is also filled with much Alfredo sauce. You should especially cut down on carbonara, though it will be hard, for that is very tasty. If you curb your appetite, do some light cardio work, and continue toward your brother, you will no doubt grow to be a figure of immense popularity, yet not grow an immense belly. Are you kidding me? I'm shocked that Mario has a belly at all! Have you seen the kind of shit this man can do? Cardio schmardio, Mario's gonna outlive us all! You... Um... Good luck out there. What is that? You crave more? I could be more direct, but everyone would hear. Are you sure you wish for this to be? The secrets of your heart would be revealed. That odd... incident. And that other thing as well. Uh, what kind of things has Luigi been up to that would be embarrassing for us to find out? Get serious! The correct answer is... For everyone! What else could it be? Hm. How could you fail to know the correct answer? It is inconceivable to me. It is deplorable. What? Did I tell you to choose from only three responses? What do you mean there were not four to choose from? You lie! It is this very tendency to falsify and edit the facts that gets you in trouble. 
Surely you realize your progress is a testament to teamwork. That it is a group effort. I know you do, and yet you refuse to pick the correct answer. For everyone. And then you lie. I am appalled. No. If you continue thusly, your fate is sealed. You shall spend your days in loneliness, mark my words. Okay, fuck you, giant door. My boy here is a team player, and you're gaslighting him into thinking he's not worthy. Thank you very much for choosing Lackey to travel. Have a nice day. Wait, you mean to tell me that we could have taken a Lackey to to get here instead of having to prove ourselves to that toxic ass star door? Excuse me, what? I couldn't even process what had happened when I first recorded this. I had to watch back and realize that a piranha planet from the platform above where the babies were shot at me and it homes in on you. I thought I was safe. Oh, f*** that. Are you kidding me? I've been fighting this thing for 12 minutes and all of a sudden I have to deal with a turn limit which is an instant game over if I don't hit that thing? The Marios are dead, my guy. I've already suffered through this fight twice, meaning that I have to awkwardly carry baby Mario for whatever goddamn reason, and now my jumping is timed differently than what I'm used to, meaning I get hit, meaning I have to waste a turn healing, making this fight longer than it already is naturally. If we rescue Princess Peach and defeat the Shroobs, we may be able to retotify these two. Well, we'd retotify Toadbird. I think we'd recuperate Kylie. Ha <laughs> ha. You know what? I'm just gonna say it. It makes no sense that I can't baby spin the juveniles to the other side here. So, fun fact, unless the Rex Shroom has been stomped on, this attack is unavoidable. You literally cannot counterattack this move because the Rex Shroom is too tall to jump over. What's that? Control this? And send those Shroom saucers to obliteration? Of course! Brilliant! And all thanks to Luigi. Quite an accomplishment. What the f is that supposed to mean, you door the explorer reject? Logan, calm down. No. No! I am not gonna sit here and have Luigi be insulted by a goddamn seat cushion with a face! Back to adventure! More like back to whatever goodwill clearance day sale EGAD bought you from, you Mickey Mouse pants looking motherfucker! Oh, he does kinda look like that. You know what your name in Japanese is? Suitcase! That's how unexceptional you are! You don't even get a name! Stuff well! That's what I'm gonna do to your mom! Whoa, dude! F***ing duffel bag! Oh, of course you did! Thank you, that's awesome! Mario! Sorry for all the trouble! Hmm? This will seem rather sudden, but would you please save our progress in this area? Uh, it's just... My forecastination sensors are clanging away! I do not believe we'll be able to return once we pass through that door. I would hate to boot up a regret cycle for our adventure. Isn't it smart to save? You know, save? You'll save, right? Yes, goddamn you. I've been hitting literally every save album. Why would I not do it now? Also, if you would hate to boot up a regret cycle, why put another save album further ahead? The next boss isn't the last one. If I can run out of items fighting her and can't come back, well, then I'm kind of f***ed, aren't I? Uh, the castle is under your control. You don't need to attack your own castle. Oh, my leather! Before hitting that save album, listen! I have investified the flight program that I downloaded from the mothership. Yes, I realized that I could recombobulate it to allow you to travel through time. Using this program, you can return to the recent past. I've decided to call it Stuffwell Special Service Warpulator. <laughs> if there's something you forgot, or especially want to do, I can take you back to the time before you rescued Peach. Wait, and now I can go back to whenever I want anyway? What the f*** was the point of telling me I couldn't do it earlier? Man, f*** this fight especially. You want to know how long this fight took? 
31 minutes, and I know you must be thinking it's really annoying that I keep bringing up how long the boss fights take me, but it's to illustrate what my successful attempts were like. Most of these bosses took me a number of times to beat, and some of my attempts were really close, so imagine having to do it all over again. And I know what you're gonna say. Oh, just use the copy flower, dumbass. Well, I didn't really find out about the usefulness of the copy flower until the final boss, because the first few bros items kinda sucked, and I hardly ever used them against regular enemies. But even then, it's not like it would've been super useful if I had a three quarters chance of f***ing up an input with something I had a limited quantity of. Granted, at this point I had a bunch of them because I wasn't using them, but the only way you'll be able to keep more bros items is if you get the ult free badge from Fafel, which costs 90 beans! And you don't even get experience for it! Like, you realize there's one more fight, right? One where I could use the stat boost because Elder Princess Shroob has 3500 HP in Phase 1. That's 500 more HP than her sister, as well as her second form, which you don't get to heal for. You beat Phase 1, you go straight into Phase 2, meaning that altogether, she has around 6500 HP. And you know how I know the developers thought this was way too much too? In the European and Japanese versions of the game, she has 3800 HP total. Only 300 HP more than her American first phase, which, by the way, is almost double the HP of the non-American versions. And honestly, thank god for the mixed flower, because otherwise I don't know how they expected you to beat her second phase. You have to damage her, same as any other enemy, right? But in order to do that, you have to deactivate her crown by damaging it. Okay, that's fine, but in order to even be able to reach the crown, you have to take out her tentacles. Both the crown and the tentacles each have their own HP, by the way. The tentacles having 400 HP, more than any regular enemy in the game, and the crown having 200 HP, the same amount as the Shrewbrex, the regular enemy with the most HP. Also, the crown and tentacles come back after three turns, so f*** you. Ah! The mushroom! Could it be? Baby's tears? The Hydro Gush! Fire it up! Wait, I don't understand. Did they fill the Hydro Gush with baby's tears, or was the solution just adding water? The liquid the Hydro Gush is spouting has the same chemical makeup as the baby's tears! Oh, bullsh**. It does not. Trouser is not a boss, it is a mini-game. Considering that they're taking the time machine back to the past, doesn't that mean that they'll have grown up with the time machine? Meaning that there's no reason for Egad to build a time machine? Meaning that Princess Peach knows to not go back to the past? Meaning that the elder Princess Shroob never gets trapped in the Cobalt Star? Most likely meaning that the Shroobs successfully take over the Mushroom Kingdom? Ow. Brain. Hurts. Also, no fucking remaster. Rip hopes and dreams. Goodbye, happiness. Hey everyone, Char I5 here. Thanks so much for watching my CinemaSins pastiche of everything wrong with Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. I'd like to thank my supporters on Patreon and my channel members. If you want to be featured in future videos, then consider helping me out a little bit each month or hit that join button. To those who do support, stay awesome. You guys should head over to CinemaSins, the awesome people that I pastiche. They also host sister channels that cover music videos, brands, and other topics. If you have some time, why not check out everything wrong with Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga? Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome. This is Char I5, signing off.